Welcome back. Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to make the red cherries from the previous video that you saw when we used the water that we are adding to this cherry here to make some juice. So as you saw in the previous recipe, all that we added, all the spices, and now we are going to put this on the fire to boil to remove the acidity from the water. And as you said in a previous video that I used this water to make a juice. So if you want to see how I made that juice, you can head over when this video is done. The link will be above and also I would add it in the end screen and in the description. All right. And before we go any further, I will just show you three different types of, of how this juice was used. Firstly, this is the raw juice here. This was just a simple juice water sugar and this was the raw liquid with some sugar and i just rest in the fridge so all you would have to do is add some water and drink so now let's make our red cherries we have i'm going to use two cups of sugar two tablespoons of this red coloring and two cups of water so we already cooked our cherries and i'm going to add some fresh spices some fresh nutmeg and cinnamon bay leaf and as i said the two cups of sugar with the two cups of water and the red food coloring i'm going to bring this to a boil and we want this to boil down as much as possible but without burning the cherries because it is going to get ooey gooey sticky and just enjoyable so before we get there i'm going to add some pepper flakes this is optional if you don't want that little heat in it it's you don't have to add it it's normally not done with pepper so you can omit that so once it has come to a boil and continue to reduce as you can see here you can still see even though i boiled the water to make the juice extract that water from there you still see how much acid is in those cherry you can clearly see it in this and you also can see how much we have boiled out the water and it's just the sugar getting all ooey gooey in that pot so you could dry it down as much as you would like i don't like it too dry and i don't like it too wet i like it somewhere in between and you would have this as a jam or we Trinidadians would normally have it just to rest in your fridge and just eat it just as a snack, not necessarily as a jam because you have seeds in it. So it'll be too much at work to eat as a jam. So we'll just have this as a little snack when you're feeling for something very sweet to eat. So this is how I use the cherry to make the red cherry. And don't forget to check out the previous video with the juice.